I haven't been this excited about artificial intelligence since they created that lady robot, Sophia. Do robots have a place in the bedroom? I'm female mechasexual. Do you want to destroy humans? Okay. I will destroy humans. I don't know what that guy was on asking those questions, but all jokes aside, AI has been making some major strides lately, but some new tools that released are gonna completely change the landscape for people like us, e-commerce professionals and online entrepreneurs. I'm gonna get right into it and show you how to utilize these tools for e-commerce and drop shipping. But first, let's do the giveaway of the week. Since you guys love this giveaway so much, I'm gonna be giving away another custom-built Shopify website made by me and my team at Ecom Remastered. This website is gonna be built on a premium theme. It's gonna have 10 winning products already loaded onto it. It's gonna have everything that you need ready to skip over that entire process of learning how to build a store, making sure it's converting. It's essentially plug and play and it's gonna cut out all that BS from trying to learn how to build a Shopify dropshipping store. So it's a pretty big deal if you're interested in getting started. And all you have to do to enter the giveaway is hit the like button, make sure you're subscribed and then leave a comment down below. That comment could be anything at all. Maybe your favorite AI platform that you like to use. And I'm also gonna be announcing the winner of last week's giveaway somewhere in this video. So make sure you're paying attention and watch all the way through. So make sure to enter and good luck and let's get right into the video. So I truly believe that this new technology and with the development of AI, it's really gonna disrupt e-commerce, digital marketing, and Shopify dropshipping industry completely. There's two main platforms that I wanna talk about today. One is a little bit older and released, I think of November of last year, and one just came out a few weeks ago. And I'm gonna be showing you how to utilize both of these for your digital marketing efforts. So OpenAI Playground is the one I kind of like a little bit more. I mean, that's not a really popular opinion right now, but I seem to get better responses and kind of connect with it a little bit more for what I'm really trying to extract from it. So what even is OpenAI Playground? OpenAI Playground is an interactive web platform for experimenting with ChatGPT and other OpenAI models. It allows the users to interact with the models in real time. The platform also provides tools to visualize the model's output. And the newer one, ChatGPT, is an open source natural language processing model developed by OpenAI. It's a transformer-based language model that can generate human-like responses to users' input. It is trained on a large corpus of conversational data and can be used to create chatbots, answering systems, and other conversational AI platforms. Honestly, the definitions that I just read you were actually written by the AI, so take that for what it's worth. But this is the analogy that I came up with that's a pretty good explanation for what's Happening. Chat GPT for a marketer is like a calculator to a mathematician. If it's me versus a mathematician and we both have calculators, the mathematician is obviously going to outcalculate me because he's a mathematician and I am not. The tool doesn't really even the playing ground at all. You have to know how to use the tool correctly to get the full benefits of it. So if you don't follow along as I explain how I would use it as a digital marketer, then you're not going to reap the full benefits of it. You might go on there and actually not know how to use it and it's not going to help you. I want to make it even clearer by saying this tool is not a replacement for the human element factor. This tool is simply going to help you become a better marketer and think outside the box and it's really great for ideation. It's basically like if you had a little AI assistant sitting next to you at all times telling you, what about this marketing angle? Or have you thought about wording your ad copy this way? It's really going to help you think outside the box and help you create these perfect marketing angles, ad copies, and it can even help you with product research. All right, enough of the explanation. Let's get right into it and show you how I'm going to be using it going forward. The first one that we're going to be looking at is the OpenAI Playground. It's a simple setup here. There's not really too much to play with, but I would just increase your maximum length here so you get better responses. Let me show you exactly how I'd be using it for e-commerce and dropshipping. All you have to do is type into the chat here, ask a question. So let's say something like, all right, so what I'm asking it is to give me five products in the cat pet niche that are selling really well right now. Please don't forget to say please, because when this thing takes over the world, it's going to remember you. Hit submit. Now it's going to generate your five products. It's going to say cat trees, automatic cat feeder, cat toys, cat grooming supplies, and cat carriers. And let's just say you don't really even like any of those. They're too basic. You don't really like those ones. So you're going to say, give me five more products that are unique to cat pet health please. Cat health supplements, natural cat shampoos, cat flea and tick products, cat dental care products, and cat calming products. So those are a little bit different, right? All right, so say we like number three, right? And you're like cat flea and tick products. That's what I want to sell. Then you can ask it something like, can you please give me a marketing angle for number three? And it's going to come up with the marketing angle that thinks it's best. And say you don't really like this and you're trying to appeal to a more younger audience, maybe on TikTok. Now I'm going to say, I don't like that marketing angle. Can you redo it with Gen Z lingo, please? One marketing angle that can appeal to Gen Z would be how to emphasize these toys can help cat bonds with their owners, stay active and build their skills. Uh, you could add in some fun and lighthearted messaging such as let your cat flex their ninja skills. That's very Gen Z. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, right? Up to date with the lingo, but you see what I'm getting at here. You can really start putting in a ton of inputs to get the exact answer that you're looking for. Basically like your own little AI chatbot assistant. Speaking of chatbots, that reminds me of today's sponsor of the video. Now a really quick break from our sponsor. The sponsor of today's video is Tidio. And did you know that over 50% of customers, even in an online business, expect you to be available 24 seven. And if you're a sole entrepreneur, you know that could be extremely hard. But Tidio is a super powerful tool that allows chatbots and real-time chatting with your customers 24 seven. I have a couple of favorite features, but one of them is 
is that all the messages are consolidated. If you've got a Facebook account, an Instagram account, and you've got live chat on your websites, all of those messages go in one place and can be addressed. Also, once you get in and install it onto your website, there are preset flows, like we see right here, where the customer can interact with the live chat bot, and you can get it preset to answer any of the most frequently asked questions. For example, if the customer asks a question like, where do you ship to? It'll reply with the automated response of where your shipping is and what shipping time you have. And you can fully customize these chat flows to allow it to answer any question imaginable. And if they don't get the answer from the chatbot, they can actually escalate it to you where you and your team can actually answer these customer service inquiries. I personally made this huge mistake when starting off dropshipping. I scaled my first store to $1,000 net profit within three weeks. But what I didn't have was the customer service on the back end. With these thousands of orders coming in, I had to answer all of them myself. And Tidio is super, super easy to set up. All you have to do is click get started at the top right. You barely have to give any information. All you have to do is enter your email, your password, and the website, and it's going to set it up right for you. And their features are so intuitive, and it takes all of the headaches out of customer service. And you're probably gonna boost your revenue by 10 to 25% at least. So if you wanna try Tidio for free or 20% off their premium features, I'll have a link in the description down below. All right, now back to the video. All right, so we're back and now we have this marketing angle that we like and let's just make a UGC content script for it. Say you wanna send your product to a TikTok influencer and you need a UGC script for them to read. I'm gonna ask, can you please write a UGC script for this marketing angle? Yeah, I didn't really like that one, so let's ask it again. And let's be more specific. Can you rewrite the script to make it sound like a native TikTok? Hey everyone, we wanna see your cats in action with their new toys. Show us your cats ninja skills and tag us in your post. Don't forget to use the hashtag, hashtag cat ninja skills so we can feature your content. But you get the point where I'm going here, right? If you gave it different inputs and you told them your brand name, they had to say that in the UGC script. Then you could even say something like, redo the script, but make it more emotional. So it's gonna come out with another script, but it's gonna have a little bit more emotion in it. You can just do this over and over again until you get to the sweet spot where you think it's the best marketing angle and the best UGC content that you could possibly create. And why this tool is so helpful is because sometimes you get writer's block. You don't really know exactly what kind of marketing angle you wanna go with or what kind of script you wanna write. So instead of just sitting there thinking of a ton of different scripts or scrolling on TikTok, and finding one that you like. All you have to do is keep asking it questions and keep refining the answer until you get to the perfect spot. This is why this tool is so powerful, but I do want to remind you that you're not going to get the perfect answer on the first try. So you really have to learn some lingo and really put in inputs that you want it to spit out so that it comes out perfectly. I'll show you one more quick trick on this platform and then we're going to move over to ChatGPT. So now let's say that you figured out what product you want to sell, the marketing angle, you've got a UGC script, and you're going to want to run this ad on Facebook. That's your plan. Now you can ask it, give me five Facebook ad copies for this script. Some of them are pretty good and some of them are not that great. This is where you go back in and refine it and say, give me five more, but use this emotion or give me five more, but use some testimonials. This is just one use case, but there's so much opportunity out here. And the more that you learn to use this tool, the better you're going to get at it and get the answers exactly how you want them. It's going to take your marketing from 50% to 150%. All right, now let's move on to chat GPT. Chat GPT is a newer one. A lot of people are talking about this one, but it's a similar layout, right? So it's a chat based platform where you can just ask it any questions that you want and give you some feedback. Right, so I asked it, please come up with five products that sell really well over the holiday season. Now it's writing out toys, electronics, clothing, gift cards, food and beverages. Now I can say which one of these is the best to drop ship. It's difficult for me to determine which of these products would be the best to drop ship as it depends on various factors such as the target market, competition, and the profitability of each product. And now it's telling me the definition of dropshipping. So it says, therefore the best product to dropship would be the one that's in high demand, has low competition, and offers a good profit margin. We're just gonna go with toys. Can you give me a list? So this is why I kind of like playground a little bit better because it says I don't have the ability to browse the internet or access any databases. But instead they're providing some general information, right? So it says dolls and action figures, board games and puzzles, blah, blah, blah. Now it just feels like it's just wanting to talk to me at this point. It's right now a ton of stuff. All right, so now I'm asking it, can you create an ad script using the pain, agitate, and solve method for a cat food dispenser. Pain, are you tired of having to constantly refill your cat's food bowl? Do you worry about your furry friend going hungry when you're away from home? Agitate, this can be so frustrating and time consuming, but it doesn't have to be. With a cat food dispenser, you can easily and automatically keep your cat food's bowl full. So you can relax and enjoy more quality time with your feline companion. Solve, are cat food pet dispensers easy to set up and use? It can hold enough food for several days depending on your cat's appetite. Plus, it's designed to dispense the food gradually so that your cat can eat at a healthy pace. Pretty awesome that it actually understood pain agitate and solve as a you know a script for an ad saying this is a great script can you please make a facebook ad copy for this okay this is like the exact same thing sort of actually they summarized it a little bit let me show you the power of this because this one was too long for facebook ads as an ad copy in my opinion i'm gonna ask can you shorten this all right can you please shorten this ad copy and add more excitement all right so you can see here that they added a little bit more excitement to it and they also cut it pretty much in half what if you don't like this what if i ask can you redo the ad copy but make it a sad story if you're trying to play on people's emotions as a busy pet owner i used to worry about my cat going hungry when i was away from home constantly refill its food bowl but it never seemed to be enough the cat would cry and scratch at the door and i could see the hunger in its eyes i felt 
guilty and helpless. All jokes aside, my point of this is you can really do whatever you want with it. You can basically massage it into the exact spot that you want it to be. This works both great on ChatGPT as well as OpenAI Playground. But I really think as us, as the digital marketers, you know, especially if you're working by yourself, drop shipping in your one man team, this can really help you out and make your time way more efficient and give you a lot of good ideas to run off of. I personally am going to be using these tools going forward in a lot of different cases in my business life, or maybe even in my personal life. I asked what I should have for lunch if it's healthy, and then I said I'm gluten intolerant, and it's coming up with a bunch of different options, a gluten-free wrap and sandwich filled with protein-rich ingredients such as turkey, chicken, and tofu. All right, I guess I am going to be using this in my everyday life, and that's what I'm going to eat for lunch. All right, let me know if you guys like this tool and how you're going to be using it moving forward. And if you pick up any tips or tricks of how to make these answers and responses better, definitely share them in the comments down below because I'm super interested. I hope you guys enjoy these up-to-date marketing videos, and as always, have a great rest of your day.